Okay, we're back. Um, this is officially OSCP week three. I think I want to do something different. I, I think I'm going to actually do um, an OS, an actual OSCP progress video every two weeks, just so there's more content to cover. You know, when I do those videos, I'm finding uh, probably once a week will probably be too too frequent, and so. Uh, I'm gonna do OSCP every two weeks. So I did one last week. This is three three. Next week will be week four. I'll do I'll drop something or for OSCP on week four. What I wanted to talk about today was degrees versus IT certs. Um, it's a huge topic on the internet in the industry, um, especially with you know new people coming to the industry. They want to know what's the fastest way to get a cybersecurity job or an IT job in general. Um, some people struggle with deciding on whether to focus on degrees, you know, a college degree, or focus on IT certifications. Um, I'm here to tell you, long story short, the long story short, long story short, the real quick and easy answer is just get both. Just get both. Um, long answer is, uh, I'll start with the long answer. So, and, and then again, I can only share with you my personal experience, how I, I broke into the cybersecurity industry. Um, other people may have other opinions, experiences, and whatnot, but I can only tell you where I come from and what I've done. Um, I got started in, well, I started school in 2006, 2007. Um, it was a two-year uh, technical college, and I got my associates by 2009 or 2008. One of those two-year college things. Um, and then from there, I started getting... Uh, I started with Network Security or Network Plus, the Network Plus certification from CompTIA. Then I got my Security Plus all within the same year that I graduated. So, um, and then back then, you know, it was a little different now, but back then, mostly everyone's first IT job was help desk. I mean, it was unavoidable. Either it was help desk or field technician or some type of support position where you had to fix someone's problems day to day, eight hours a day, five days a week. That's what it was. I'm finding out now or I'm learning that. Uh, that's not so much the case today, um, but it was back then. So I got started in help desk and did help desk for like four or five years and then broke into CNA um, and been doing that ever since compliance risk management. So um, what I want to talk about or what I want, again, what I want to focus on is which is better, degrees, college degrees or IT certification. And I would just say do both. And the reason being, if you're fresh out of college or in college or you're in this position or you're in this point in your life where you're trying to break in, I'm going to put it to you as simple as I can. Um, you don't get you're not going to get your first IT job by simply submitting resumes and applications to as much as you can. I'm going to put it that way. Your goal should be to get interviews. And, and this is my philosophy, this is my thinking, um, how I approach this, pr this process. Put your focus and emphasis on landing an interview. Because I tell you right now, when it comes to submitting applications and resumes, uh, you know, you can have a resume that's all your T's are dotted, all your I's are crossed or whatever, vice versa. You know, you got your experience in there, it may not be IT related, but you made sure you beefed up your resume as much as possible and come to find out, you know, you're doing what you can, you're trying to break in, but you don't have an IT degree and you don't have IT certifications and you're just throwing your resume applications out there and you're just, you know, throwing your stuff out there, seeing what can happen. Imagine yourself as an employer. Imagine you get your, you, you got these a choice between two applications. You got a choice between... Uh, a nice resume that's beefed up is not really IT related, but you could tell that the individual was trying. You could tell they care. They put care into the to the, to the resume, um, but they don't have IT search and they don't have an IT college degree or degree at all. And then you got someone else who got a social resume, a little bit of experience, maybe a couple of years of IT experience, but they have an IT degree and they have one or two certs, even if they're low level or whatever. Who would you decide if you're the employer? Put yourself in the employer's shoes. Who would you decide to? give the interview or call that call for an interview you know especially if you're you know looking for a position quick and you're getting hundreds of resumes and applications and you gotta 
turn that that number down from 100 to 10. You see what I'm saying? So imagine, uh, is your resume going to make the stack? Put, Put yourself, yourself in the shoes of, shoes of an employer. employer. You know, if, if you're an employer, employer and you have a stack of resumes, let's say you have 200 resumes, and you have two positions to fill. It's, it's a numbers game. Goes down to a numbers game. You're gonna immediately eliminate maybe. Excuse me. You're gonna easily eliminate uh, the resumes without certain degrees. Those are gone off the bat. I can guarantee you. If I was an employer, that's what I would do. You probably would too. So then from there, let's say half of those are gone. You have 100, okay? 100 resumes left, but you have two positions and you want a pool of maybe, you know, you know, you want to interview 10 or 15 people. Okay, from there, from that 100, that list of 100, now you're going to go with who has uh, the most advanced degree, you know, that, that goes down to, depending on the job, that goes between uh, associates versus bachelors, bachelors versus masters, depending on whatever the position is. And then you're going to look at certifications, you know? You're going to look at... Uh, novice certs to advance or to mid and then to advance so again focus on getting the interview put yourself in an employer's shoes you know if you if you were looking for you know if you was a manager or a hiring manager and you were looking to hire somebody you want to make sure the people that come through that door that you're going to interview in the very least on paper are qualified to do the job okay so keep that in mind um, when when you think about for yourself for your own career your own path uh, if you should do certs which should you do first certs or degrees I say just do them both do them at the same time if you're in school get a couple of certs while you're there um, because it's it's I'm gonna tell you what if if you try to put more focus on one or the other if you want to focus on just uh, associates a bachelor's and a master's and get that can you get a job of course. But if you put your resume against someone else who has that and certs, who do you think has a better chance of getting an interview? And I just, I just put it that way. So put your focus on landing interview. And how do you put your focus on landing interviews? You put your focus on having a relevant resume. And that would include getting an IT degree and an IT certification, at least the basics uh, to start with. Um, I can tell you right now, IT is definitely growing. There's... There's more jobs than personnel at the moment right now, and that tends to be the trend. It's going to be the trend for, for the next five to ten years, uh, so I'm hearing. I can, I can put some sources in there but um, in the comments, but it's really imperative to do both. Do both. Right now, I have, I have a bachelor's and a master's. I have CISSP, I have CEH. I have really advanced certs and degree, and I can tell you right now, um, if I you know, put my resume or, or start applying for jobs, nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm guaranteed at least an interview. You know, I'm going to, I mean, I can say that with confidence, not, not, and I'm not bragging or, uh, you know, anything like that. I'm just saying I can possibly submit a resume application to a majority of places and, and, and at the very least get a, get a call back or get an interview. And I, and I want, and I want to advise you to make that your goal. Um, I'm not going to get into interview tips in this video. This is out of the scope, but um, try again. Try try to focus your job search in getting through the door into an interview, and then from there, uh, you know, take it from there. What what I would say as far as I mean, if I had to provide advice on interview, on an interview, um, just be yourself. Um, never go into an interview and pretend you know more than you do. That that type that type of character that stuff is always picked up right away. Um, if you don't know something, say you don't know. Uh, and if you do so know something, or they ask you a question that you know, just just answer with confidence. Answer answer with your personality, with who you are, true to to yourself, and, and just be yourself. Uh, and I can tell you, um, the interviews I've been in, they've been pretty well. I mean, I, I'm I always leave leave an interview confident uh, or feeling good about it because I was myself. I know my resume was good. I know my, my experience and qualifications are good. I know they're competitive. And I, I haven't had uh, I haven't had a, a real issue with getting interviews probably since, you know, really early in my career. You know, I started, like I said, I started out the gate. I left college. The same year I finished my associates in uh, network security, I had a network plus and a security plus. So I was almost guaranteed at least an entry level somewhere for those, for those three things. And so that's what I, I want to... Uh, 
advise you guys um, when it comes to picking and choosing. You know, I know not everybody, you know, is born with a silver spoon in their mouth. I have parents that can pay for college and whatnot. Um, but at the end of the day, certs cost money, and obviously college costs money. And, you know, me personally, I, uh, you know, I took out student loans. I'm in debt. <laughs> I'm in student loan debt, obviously, especially with a master's. But um, it is what it is. You know, I, I have a, a decent career now going 10 years. And I did what I had to do. Now, uh, I'm not. That's not to say that you need to take out student loans to go to college. There are multiple other ways to fund, you know, a college, uh, college career. You know, through what are those called? Scholarships and you know, raising money or whatever. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if if none of those work out or, or seem too far fetched or whatever the case have you, there's always student loans. You know, and that is what it is. That's that's just. That's just the world we live in. That's the country we live in. Um, college is expensive. You need a degree for a good job. Now, now, I didn't say you need a degree to be successful. There's, there's a huge difference between being successful and having a job. So I want to make that clear. You need a, a college degree to land a good job. You do not require a degree to be successful. Um, there's plenty of entrepreneurs, business owners, that are ridiculously successful without any college degree, uh, but that requires a whole different type of mojo and moxie when it comes to the type of person you are, what you're ready to commit your life to and whatnot. So that's that's a video for entrepreneurship. Um, I consider myself an entrepreneur to some degree. Um, that is poss that's possibly one of my real end goals in life, uh, but this is a video about landing an interview, so I'll, I'll keep it. I keep it on topic. When it comes to what type of certs, um, if you're beginning at the entry level, I'm going to say what everyone says. CompTIA is great for entry level. Um, you have CompTIA A+, you have CompTIA Network+, Security+, Linux+, and then there's advanced ones that come after that, uh, CASP, CYSA, and whatnot. Um, if you are in school uh, for an associate's or bachelor's, I would highly suggest um, that yeah, while you're in school learning about about these technologies about you know technology and cyber security go for those certs uh, study for those certs at the same time uh, a lot of times your classes are going to map with the material in the cert you know the CompTIA courses so do that knock it out you know do, do it do it while you're in school if you get if you get an associate's or bachelor's you know, you know, finish college with associates or bachelors, and at the same time, during that two year, four year, whatever, get a, a A plus, network plus, security plus, or Linux plus, you are good to go for entry level. Bottom line, it may not be the best money at first, uh, but you know, you gotta start where you can and, and get your foot in the door. So, and then from there, go on to more advanced college degrees, or and or go towards CH, uh, CAS, the more advanced. CISP, CISP, and whatnot, and take it from there. So, um, let me see if I covered everything. Uh, yeah, so, so if you have, have any questions, questions or comments about uh, search versus degrees, I hope I answered your question. Um, my little my wired contest that I was trying to do. Uh, turns out when I said I was going to be able to randomly uh randomly choose a sub subscriber i was wrong um if you go into youtube settings uh, a lot of the subs have their hitting their settings hidden so i can't see you guys so uh, what, I, what i was confusing doing the randomization for the subs with the comments there's there's programs there's tools out there where you can you know you plug the video url and it decides or it random randomizes the comments section and chooses a commenter so um kind of got that wrong when I said that so I'm gonna still do obviously I'm gonna still do the wireless uh, the wired magazine contest but uh, it's gonna be extended to another week and if you comment on this video anything a question a comment whatever um, I can do the randomization thing next week f you know for the comment section so at least because um, again like a lot of my subs or you, you guys are subscribing have your settings on private so I can't see 
you and I can't see, you know, if I go to your page, I can't see who you subscribe to. So um, we're going to do it that way. So bear with me. I'm still getting this, the hang of this whole, you know, YouTube thing or whatever. So that's my philosophy on that. Hopefully this helps you guys out, helps some people out out there. Um, if you have any questions or comments, hit the sub, hit the like, hit the share. Uh, and again, in order for me to do the wired contest, the free wired subscription, I need, I need comments. So when I run the randomizer, uh, it can just pick someone. So appreciate you guys next time.